Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and uh, I'm only going to just highlight a little bit of information here on uh, the, the, some of the images that have been sent to me from uh, actually from two different people from Kim in Australia and also from, uh, I believe it's Deborah. Let me just find it. Yeah, Deborah over in Wisconsin. They've actually sent some very compelling uh, uh, photography work that probably for the first time ever have I ever thought this could possibly be Planet X. And I want to just state that as a possibility. Uh, I know that uh, there's one friend that also sent me some information about the red star that we had posted earlier uh, that has a stepson. I believe he's an astronomer. Uh, I hope I get that right. Uh, but he's down uh, in South Africa and was saying that they don't have any red star that they've seen in the skies there. And some of their family friends said they had not seen one. Uh, I did send, though, the images to them also for verification as well as I'm checking with intelligence sources that I have on some of these images as well for verification uh, and cross-reference purposes. But... So with that in mind, I do want to share some of the images with you, but at the same token, I want to make sure that I clarify, I don't know for sure if this object is or is not Planet X. It is very interesting though. And uh, these are, this initial images here I'm going to share with you are going to be from, uh, uh, this is from uh, Kim down in Australia. And this is one here. I blew it up a little bit more. This is the sun right here to the right. And then over here to the left, you have this object right here on your screen. And it is clearly a planet, star, or something in broad daylight. Um, now, one thing that I did find interesting in the images that, uh, that she has shared with me, uh, and let me see if I can find the right one here for it. Um, is that there's one, and uh, this is not the one I'm thinking about, uh, but there was one that was done four weeks ago, and the, and I don't know if it's because one, maybe one picture is zoomed in, the other is not, but it appears to be that this planet, star, whatever you want to call it, is further out. And this particular picture here as well, though, if you'll notice, it is still on a very clear sky, but it's more faint looking. And that seems to be to coincide with what intel I was given on this uh, planet initially. And that is that it is faint looking because it's hard to see until it gets close enough to the sun and then it'll begin to reflect light from the sun. But this also, this image I found interesting because as the red arrow was indicating there, it appears that there is a, a, a tail, and I don't know how well you guys can see that on there, uh, but it's also, too, the, the star becomes very faint. Uh, it is kind of a bluish color in this image here, much like the sky, but there is a faint tail going all the way back there to the hand there where I'm showing you there, and behind this, um, which could actually be consistent of what we've heard about with Planet X. Now here, we don't see the tail, but, uh, but and it's brighter, more of a white color there. And is that because it's gotten close to the sun, reflecting more light? I don't know the answers to all of these, these questions there, but I do find it very, very interesting. Now, this one, oh, sorry about that. I have to click on it there uh, and oh, that's not the one where did it go there we go this one here is underneath the Sun it's right there I think these here the purplish and stuff is just as a, a camera anomaly but not that white circle there I think the different positions though also are in relation to the um, uh, the movement of the earth like in this case is now down below uh, there is no windows nothing like that I've asked about it uh, in the pictures this is at 30 percent so if we bring it up to what it should be which would be 100 percent there you go right there there it is and now it's below uh, the sun 
instead of off to the left of the sun. Now you'll see another ring here, but I don't consider that a planet or anything. It's just that right there. I believe that ring is something to do with the anomalies of the lighting system from photographing the sun. Um, but there are just too many images here that really, like I said, that one there, but especially when you get this one here, you're just, it's, it's, it's definitely a star of some sort. What is it doing coming in this direction? Is it planet X? Is it something else? I don't know the answer to it. Or maybe is it just one of the moons and it's not in behind the sun and it happens to be a little bit more obvious in, in coming. Uh, you know, I, I just don't know all those answers. This one was sent, this is the one that comes in from, uh, what was it, Deborah, I believe. Yeah, Deborah in Wisconsin. And they took this one on the 17th of July, I think at 10 something, what do I have here, 10.44 a.m. in the morning. Now there, theirs is in the bottom of the screen. Now that's the eagle you see there in the sky got caught in the camera lens there. But this one too has a tail, very much like the tail that I showed you in the other photograph. So here we have Wisconsin uh, sharing their image. And there you have it there in Australia. Uh, this one also, Australia. This one also in Australia. In fact, let me, this one again is above, directly above the sun. I don't think the red dot nor the white dot here are planets or anything. I mean, it could be, but I don't think so. I think that's also anomalies from the camera. Uh, I could be wrong on that. I'm not an expert on that issue there, but I, I believe that that's what you're looking at there. This one here, like I said, shows that tail uh, coming off of it, but more faint in, in, the, in the way it looks. So anyway, you be the judge. I just wanted to share some of that with you there. Also another news too, uh, North Korea has fired several uh, cruise missiles off its coast. And uh, it was also being reported at the same time, the Joint Staff of the Army also announced that it had, uh, has identified and intercepted a number of North Korean cruise missiles that were fired at around four o'clock in the morning on Saturday local time. Thought that'd be something interesting for to share with you there. Uh, we're also dealing with uh, uh, Poland, uh, and I have gotten. Ooh, I don't even have the articles up on the screen. Let me let me pull that up for you one moment. According to Al Jazeera, top Russian officials say Poland wants to seize parts of Ukraine. Uh, Maria Zakharova right here uh, said that the top Russian officials have suggested that NATO might not be offering Kiev membership yet because Poland considers Western Ukraine part of its territory and intends to invade. In an interview with Al Jazeera on Tuesday, Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova said there is now an obvious desire of Poland to invade the Western part of Ukraine. This is why Ukraine is not invited to NATO. Uh, that's kind of interesting if you go back and remember, and I don't know if it's on this video or not. Uh, I've done two videos here, Poland sending troops to Ukraine uh, a year ago. And then also this one here, why Israel is buying up the land in Poland. Uh, that was also about a year ago. One I think is in March, one is in May. And I don't know if I said it on one of these videos here or not, but I had told you from the intel that we were getting that Poland was planning on taking some of the territory of Ukraine for itself. Uh, and uh, that, of course, a lot of people probably thought that was a little bit ridiculous for me to say that, but now Maria Zakharova coming out and saying it right there uh, in an interview with Al Jazeera. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon, going to do a lot tomorrow, spend some time with you guys, teachings as well as news updates and things like that. Hopefully I'll get an update on these images that I've sent out from some of the people there, whether it be Intel, the, uh, the one uh, uh, sister that stepson is an astronomer. Maybe I can get some information regarding this and someone can do some verifications uh, to give you a better idea of what's going on. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. God bless you. Thank you for your support of this broadcast.